Pal, I, I love you. I was talking to you backstage. It made me laugh because I was saying, this is a giant movie that you're in. And uh, it's Spider-Man, and now this just got nominated for three Golden Globes. Uh, and uh, the, yeah, exactly. Give it up. And sure. The Greatest Showman. I said, you are a movie star. And you go, yeah, I just don't. Sometimes I don't, I, sometimes I don't feel like I, 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 that I, you walk like a movie star. <laughs> And I go, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Um, well, I have. You just came out tonight. That was perfect. That's see, how a movie star walks out. See, I know how to walk. I have. A, it's, a, it's like a different persona, you know, that comes on when I'm on stage. Like I, I know how to walk in heels, and you know, I know how to do that. But in my day to day life, me and my dad walk the same. Okay. Which is not necessarily a great thing. No. We call it the Coltman trudge, and it's kind of. I mean, I can't really do it in heels because it's not as ugly. But my day-to-day -day walk is more of like this. <laughs> That's your day-to-day you know, -day walk. This is my day-to-day -day walk. Yeah, and how's right? it on the red carpet? And then this is my red carpet walk. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the trudge, is it? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. just kind of trudging through. Oh, see, yeah. now I get it. I, I understand. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about this. Uh, how did you end up in a Bruno Mars video? How did... <laughs> because I saw... Okay. Well, if anybody saw the lip sync battle, so I, I, I impersonated... Bruno from my lip sync battle, and it was fun, and I and I, I feel that I did a pretty good job yeah. at, at taking on his, you know, his swag and whatnot. Um, and apparently he saw that, and I guess that in his mind, got, like, apparently he thought sexy girl in video from that. I don't know <laughs> because you... the correlation there. Well, yeah, maybe but... yeah. Exactly. But either way, he called you. <laughs> but up? he called me. He's like, I got a text, and he was like, Hey, this is Bruno. Can I call you? And I was like. Sure, yeah, absolutely. And so he called and he was like, hey, you know, I'm doing this video and I really want you to be part of it. And I was like, man, like, why? Why me <laughs> from, from that video? Like, how, how does that strike gracefully to you? But it was awesome. It was really cool. He was, he was so fun and it was, a it was a good guy. day. So well, talented. I have a picture of uh, you two cut side by side. One, from, one is you and one is Bruno. See if you can tell the difference. I don't even know. If you can tell the difference, it's just fantastic. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, and here you are. Also, not only are you in music videos, uh, but you're also doing uh, The Greatest Showman. Yeah. Uh, Hugh Jackman is one of the best, nicest dudes ever and a great, great actor. Ever. But you knocked out of the park Thank in this you, one, Thank you, man. Pal. I appreciate you're it. You're fantastic. Thanks. Uh, tell everyone who you play. Um, I play this character. Her name is Ann Wheeler, and she's a trapeze artist, right? Mm -hmm. um, and she's a part of the circus, and I think, you know, um, at the time, obviously, this is the late 1800s, so we're dealing with a lot more issues, especially being a woman of color, a black woman at the time. And so she ends up falling in love with Zac Efron's character, and it's a forbidden love. Yeah. It's not supposed to happen. It's not allowed. It's, it's, it's frowned upon, and I think that there's something very beautiful about that because it's, a, to me, a silent love story because they're not supposed to be seen, touched, or anything like that. So any moment when they're looking at each other or, or, or they just get to, like, just just touch a little bit, you know, and, and have a moment alone, I think it becomes more special for the audience and for the characters. And, um, and it was really, it was really nice, nice for me to play because I feel like there's so many relevant themes in the movie. And I think for me, you know, when it came down to these characters, we're still dealing with those issues, you know? We're still dealing in a time where people want to tell people who they can love, you know? And so to me, it was, it was, it was a nice thing to share absolutely. and I'm, I'm lucky to be a part of it, yeah. You did a great job, absolutely, you're right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.